Hello, I'm Karen and I am the Kate Tower and this is going to be part two of my videos on how to make the golf bag and golf clubs. Um, by rights, we should have um, our golf clubs drying if you've, if you've actually followed with the other videos. Um, if this is your first time of coming and watching a video I really do recommend that you actually go back to the beginning of these ones because this might look a bit bizarre. But anyway, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the actual golf bag. And I'm going to teach you how to make this in a very strange way. This is probably not how you've learned how to do any kind of icing. So, I'm starting off with 45 grams worth of white icing. I have got some corn flour on my work surface because when I work with white icing... I find it tends to stick and also um, I'm actually going to be putting my finger inside the icing so um, I know that sounds really bizarre and let's just go with the flow with this one okay so I've got my icing it's nice and soft I rolled it into a ball and I'm going to roll it into a, a short fat sausage and I'm going to flatten the end on the worktop and then I'm going to hold this really tightly and I'm getting my ball tool which I've got some corn flour on because I don't want it to be sticking and I'm going to and this is you've got to be quite firm with this and I'm going to push this inside the actual icing and then I'm going to rock it around to try and create an opening inside I don't want the opening to be too fat, but I do want it to be big enough that I can actually get my finger in. And so, as I'm working with it, I'm like pushing against the base inside. You've got to be thinking, I'm not going pushing down, I'm pushing towards the edges, because I'm trying to create um, the hole inside. So I'm just sort of pushing it around and around, and pushing out, and creating the hole inside so that the golf clubs are going to be able to sit inside the golf bag. I'm just going to get some more corn flour on my fingers and my finger is going to go inside now and I'm going to use my finger and my thumb so I'm pinching together like this to make the soft the the soft make the inside um smooth and big enough for you to be able to actually put the golf clubs in and that's looking quite nice now as I work it I actually I still want to be able to keep the base nice and flat so this time I'm just going to just I'm, I'm supporting it I'm not really pushing down with the actual ball tool um, it's just pushing down a little bit I suppose but not too hard because you don't want to pop out the bottom I'm just trying to give myself a flat bottom there and keep working around because what I want to be able to do is be able to be able to get my golf clubs so that they can stand inside. Now, where's the other one? To get those two in there, that's quite a tight fit. Now, once these have been painted and they're like, they're they, going to brush past each other, it will scuff the paintwork and also leave marks inside your golf bag. So, I just want it to be slightly bigger. And this time, I'm just going to be pulling, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm pinching together, but I'm actually pulling it like this as I'm working, just with my thumb, just to, just to help give like a little waste on the actual bag itself. I know this is a really unusual way of using your icing, but when I very first got asked to make... Um, a golf bag and the golf clubs. Um, I suppose I was. I've had 20 odd years of cake decorating experience, but when it comes to making golf clubs, I'd never thought about them actually going inside like this. So um, they sent me this lovely picture of the golf bag, and I was like, wow, I really want to. I wanted to be able to really imitate it really well and the only way was to make this tube so I'm still working it a little bit 
pulling it up slightly just to give it more of like a little waist as it's going in look. and then I know you can see look there's a couple of cracks that have appeared on the top while I'm working do not worry about it I've actually made another video where one where I actually it was awfully cracked um, I might actually just put that one up as well just so you can see how bad that one is <laughs> but um no this is the one that I'm going with so we have our nice thing now it's got sort of as it's going down it's going it's getting smaller as I'm going in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the the ball tool again and I'm just going to be sort of pushing so I'm going to push that way push all the way around just to and as I'm pushing it's the I've got the icing obviously in between but I'm like pushing against my fingers as I go round so I'm pushing it and turning it just to make that um the hole just that a little bit bigger towards the bottom so we don't want to push down because if we push down we're going to come out through the bottom and make it really thin and then it will just look rubbish so and I know at the moment this doesn't really look much like a golf bag but when we add the extra little trim bits on, you see that it comes to life. So, I'm quite happy with that. Um, if we put it this way, right, and when you lay it, or you look at it so you're looking across, you want, you want this to be reasonably level. I know we're going to put a trim around the top, so it just helps though. The more level you start off with, the nicer it's going to look. Oops. So let's just get our golf clubs again, put those back. And they've got plenty of room this time. They're not they're not actually going to be really scuffing each other. They can sit in there really nicely. And they stick out. It's probably about half of it is sticking out, isn't it, lot? Oops. If we hold it to it. And it's just really impressive. So that's the this is the next stage. Now we're gonna to have to leave this to set hard as well so that's also going to be put to one side so like I said if you're going to make golf clubs in a golf bag you'd really need to prepare well in advance if you make one and you've got a cake and you sell the cake and somebody else comes along and says oh I really want you to make me um, a golf bag and golf clubs you've got to let them know you're going to need like two three weeks advance notice I love to say you know like, give me four weeks and then that way it gives you that time because it really needs you want everything to be dry so you don't want things to be falling to bits on you and you're rushing and it looking bad so um say so that's the end of this bit then so now we've got our golf bag and thank you for watching this video i will carry on with the other videos shortly thank you bye